The organization TAPS, or Tragedy Assistance Program for Survivors, hosted its annual Good Grief Camp this weekend. Counselors were helping children cope with the loss of a parent while also missing one of their own. Coast Guard Petty Officer Adam Eggers has the story. So all of you lost your dad, one of you lost your uncle, we're going to write a letter to them and it can be anything you want. It can be something you never got to tell them, something you wish you could have said. This is something I've always wanted to tell you. I, if I had a chance to, to go everywhere with you, I, I do it because I love you and I miss you. Dear Dad, we got two horses and a dog named Harley. We got to them at our house. We now live in Fleetwood, North Carolina. Me and Jacob are good. We miss you and love you. Dear Dad, you know, you know, Mom still has didn't let, get let didn't let me see the pieces to your poem. I love you like crazy, and just saying if you're okay. Letters written to parents lost for the most part, in Iraq and Afghanistan. Mentors and Good Grief Camp counselors helped tie the notes to balloons headed for heaven. So on behalf of the President of the United States, may we award you with the presidential applause. One group leader, Master Sergeant Tammy Caban, recently received the President's Volunteer Service Award for her work with TAPS five and six-year-olds over the past four years. Most of them have lost their fathers in either Iraq or Afghanistan. I feel like it's the least that we can do for children who have lost their, their family members. And it's obviously, it's, it's, once you've done it, you just can't not be there for them. But this year, Master Sergeant Caban was forced to stay home. She's battling cancer and had just undergone a difficult round of chemotherapy. Her stand-in, retired Chief Master Sergeant George Caban, also known as Dad. And she wanted to be here, my wife had to sit on her to keep her from getting out of bed and coming down here, you know. And last year, I remember, she was so involved that she lost her voice, that she couldn't say anything after that, so I just loves doing it, you know. For the land of the free and the home of the brave. Three, two, one, go! My heart will be there with them. Coast Guard Petty Officer Adam Eggers, Pentagon Channel News.